U.S. Park Police on a drug raid in Washington, D.C. Raids like this one present new risks for police officers and the emergency medical technicians who support them. So the military's medical school, the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences, or USIS, and the U.S. Park Police have started a course to teach EMTs how to provide care under fire. The focus of the program is drug interdiction, and the reason is that that's what has brought this issue of medical support in a tactical environment to the forefront. It's because of the increased violence associated with narcotics trafficking. The students in this first course came from special tactics units in the Army, Navy, and Air Force, as well as federal and local police agencies across the country. What we're attempting to do here is to provide a bridge between EMT, emergency medical technician level training, and the tactical environment. Because today's drug climate presents new and varied dangers to military and civilian drug interdiction teams, students learn how to prepare the medical support plan for a mock raid. Our primary concern is going to be with our team casualties. Uh, Air Force Sergeant Jerry Thomas assesses the medical support that might be available by interviewing a professor role-playing the director of a local trauma center. Everybody, all of you, down here now! The class on medical care in hostage situations takes on an air of realism as a group of students is unexpectedly seized by a deranged couple carrying what look like homemade bombs. The experience helps the students appreciate the plight of hostages they might have to treat someday. In addition to this course, USIS is planning a whole family of courses meeting national standards to teach medical techniques in special situations. Warren Lee, Washington. A police car on a deserted road. The trooper lies injured, ambushed by drug traffickers. Paramedics move cautiously to the rescue, not knowing if the bad guys are still around. Obviously, this is an exercise, part of a one-week course that started in the classroom and has at this point moved into the field. U.S. Park Police Officer Ken Burchell is one of the instructors. He says today's drug environment makes this an important course for military and civilian paramedics increasingly exposed to the violence of the drug world. Because there's a clear need. They can see there are more raids, there are more incidents. Unfortunately, there are a lot more uh, losses of life. How much medical training do you have there, Keith? These student medics practice a new technique, a sort of remote medicine, helping one hostage care for another when the only contact is by radio or telephone. Is he starting to wake up at all? But they're not really talking to a hostage. That's a park police instructor who is following the exercise script. He's, he's sort of out of it. He's groggy and he's... As darkness approaches, the students prepare for their major night exercise which pulls together all the week's specialized medical training. The scenario that the students are given is a drug raid gone bad. Uh, a SWAT team went in to conduct a raid, a high-risk warrant service, and they were met with unexpected opposition. Things went bad, and a second SWAT team is called in to do the rescue. And uh, it involves a number of different scenarios for which they're being trained, including hostages being taken, including barricades, including wounded officers out in the open, uh, including the use of uh, riot control agents. The Uniformed Services University and the U.S. Park Police hope to offer the new course to civilian and military medics five times a year if they can attract enough funding and students. If it helps one policeman or one special operations person one time, we've been successful. Warren Lee, Quantico, Virginia.